Hi guys! Welcome on this new photo tips tutorial on how to add a border in Capture One. My name is Laurence Bichon, I'm a photographer in Paris. We will create a standalone Photoshop program that activates a Photoshop action. This action launches an Adobe Extend script in which we extend the image's Canva. This extension creates the border we are looking for. I will guide you step by step on my computer and show you all about this method. This will be a five step process. In step one, we create the script. Open a Windows Explorer and create a new file framescript.txt. We name it to extension JSX. This is the extension used by Adobe Extend Script. Open the script with WordPad. Next, open a web browser. Load my post tutorial how to add a border with Capture One Pro. Scroll down into the post. Then copy the script sample. Then paste it into the text, the text file. Save this file. It's time for step 2. Open Photoshop and create a new file with the default settings. Open the Actions window. If you are familiar with Photoshop Actions, Select your action set, otherwise we are going to create a new action set. Let's name it My Set. Create a new action. From now on, we record the action. You see the red button at the bottom of the action window. Let's go to File, Scripts, Browse. We select the script in script framescript.gsx and stop the recording. In step 3, we just edit framescript with WordPad. We uncomment the two last lines. If we do not comment those two lines at step 1, then when the script is executed, during the action creation. We close Photoshop and we cannot end the recording. Step 4. We create a Photoshop droplet. This is a standalone Photoshop program. Go to File, Automate, Create Droplet. We save the droplet in the directory droplet and name, in, name it Frame Droplet. We also define the action it will launch. Select My Set and then the action Frame Action. Click OK. We finished step 4. You can close the file we created in Photoshop without saving it. Step 5. In Capture One, select the image you want to add a frame on. In the Output menu, select the destination folder. We stored it on jpeg-export. Select the folder. Then click on Open with Browse and select the droplet directory. Then the droplet itself. Click on Process and wait for Capture One to generate the exported file. Now it's done. We are going to double check in Windows Explorer what's the result. Oh. 
so it's okay there is a black border around the image. This is the end of today's tutorial. I thank you for your visit and wish you a nice day. Bye!